Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman, and in my review of the ATEM Mini Extreme, I was referring to using macros with the macro keys here to kind of replicate the functionality you might have with vMix using one of their virtual inputs or OBS with one of their scenes, where you can basically have a one button push to get a whole bunch of stuff mashed together. And in this quick video, I'm going to show you how to do that in a virtual set environment where you've got a subject keyed out on a green screen and a background that you want to follow that person each time you cut to them. And then we'll have a second person with their own background as well. Let's take a look and see how we can set that up. Now what we're gonna set up here is have this image of the ATEM Extreme over that scene of my window uh, be one scene that I wanna cut to. And the other one is going to be this bear in front of me like this. And this would normally be fine if you're just cutting back and forth between two different things. But if I wanted to maybe cut to another camera at some point, it gets more and more complicated because I have to take the key off air and kind of go through all of this stuff. And I wanna make it easy for my volunteers just to be able to push a single button and have it put all this stuff up on screen and then have another button that can disable all of it and cut to one of the other cameras. So what we're gonna do here is go in and set this up so that we can build macros that will automate this process. So we're gonna begin with the picture of the bear over me. And what we're going to do is first, before we start recording the macro, is enable everything that we want to have turned off. Because what's neat about how the macros work is that it doesn't record a button push. It records the state of the button after you push it. So basically what we're gonna do here is instruct it to do the opposite of what I currently have on screen. Uh, so if we go over to my full screen view here, I'm going to go up to the macro menu and just bring that in. And what we're gonna do is uh, just go over to the create button and we're going to create this one called bear. I'm gonna click on record. And now you can see things are recording. So what I'm gonna do here is just move this out of the way for a second. We're going to enable camera four. We're gonna turn off these, turn this one on and turn that one off. And then I'm going to stop recording just by moving this back over here and hitting the record button. And now we've got something in there called bear. So now I've got the bear mapped here to the first macro button. And if we go over to our uh, shot that we currently have live on air, and I'll pull up the uh, two up here of the device. If I push one now, you're gonna see it's automatically cutting to that bear scene with me in the background. And now what we can do is set up another macro to switch to the other virtual set and its subject. So to recap, we've got the bear, which is coming from camera one over the background, which is camera four. But what I want to do is have camera two in the next scene go over camera five. So what we're going to do is pretty much reverse what we did just a second ago. Uh, we'll go back up to the macro here and record a new one. And what I'm going to do before we start recording is turn everything on again, except the one that I want to be on after the macro executes. So what we're gonna do is just go over to create again. We're gonna call this ATEM. And what we're gonna do is click on record. This time we're going to turn off everything but four. And then we're also going to click on camera five here so that we can switch back to that. And I'm going to stop that there. And now we've got two macros, macros one for bear and one for ATEM. But remember, these are uh, linked to the macro buttons here. So bear is in position one, ATEM is in position two. And let's pull up our screen again and see what happens when we switch between them. All right, so I've got it back on the bear now. And if I hit the button for the ATEM, as you can see, it will switch the background automatically along with getting the right subject in front of us here, which is working out pretty nicely here, as you can see. Uh, the problem though, is that if we wanted to uh, switch to something else, we might run into trouble. So here we are going back and forth here. You can see those things switching there as we configured in the macro. Uh, but if I wanted to maybe bring up, I don't know, camera two here, you can see the bear is still in front. So we have to kind of set a clear all macro here or maybe set up 
additional macro buttons for each other input that we want to switch to. Unfortunately, this is not as simple as it would be on OBS or vMix where you can just set up a virtual input to get it done, but this does give you an idea as to how you can pretty quickly get macros set up and use the buttons here to kind of switch between those inputs as you go. Not ideal, uh, but if you really want a hardware solution with no computer attached, once you get this going here, uh, these six buttons can be very, very useful. Hopefully you found this helpful. There's a lot more to this macro functionality that uh, we could spend a lot more time on, and many YouTubers have done that. I was proud of myself just for figuring out this stuff as a vMix user, so hopefully you found it helpful also. And until next time, this is Lon Zybin. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters including Gold Level supporters Chris Allegretta, Tom Albrecht, Mark Bollinger, Sergio Morales, Mark Dell, Jim Callagher, and Stephen Sue. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.